you don't want to you don't want to play this game with me. Hey, there's a speed limit here, guys. I'm trying to keep my sanity. Sweet. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Car King? Scott Leonard here. I made it to the concourse of Elegance, Windermere Cars and Coffee, basically. This car, you guys may recognize it from Tavares' channel. This was the car that was rebuilt and displayed on Jay Leno's car garage. Pretty sick build. There's a lot of gold accent, gold flake in the carbon fiber. This thing is insane, guys. If you guys wanna see more of the history of this car, check out Tavares' channel. I'm loving the changes he made to the car, all of the gold accents, the beautiful tan interior, beautiful custom-made dash. Got the accents on this splitter. The light blue, the gold and the carbon contrast beautifully. Silver wheels. He has that carbon fiber scoop on the top. I don't think this is a functional air scoop. I can't remember if it was or not. I don't think it is though. Look at the gold heat shielding in there. Completely custom. He had the whole review on his channel. And ironically, his other car is right over here. The infamous GT3, the Adam LZ crash on Tail of the Dragon. I'm seeing a theme here. Fred he really likes gold. He must really like gold because, again, the gold wheels. Matt Armstrong rebuilt the car, sold it back to Tavares. Tavares. Oh no 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 no! You you don't you don't want to you don't want to play this game with me. We have a 675 McLaren over there. We have a 911 GT3 and this uh, 3000 GT. The red one is uh, mine. Oh, the P1? No, P1, no. no. <laughs> that's a skill that I need to get. I need to get the skill where I'm able to buy a car that's totaled and rebuild it because this thing is insane, man. That's a crazy project, and it looks it looks so good in person. So f***ing good. Perfect build. Right next to the P1 and the 600 LT. What's hey, up? So how, how are you doing, man? I'm trying to keep my sanity. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my sanity. It's a lot of work. Still things to be fixed. Next year, hopefully even bigger and better. We got a lot accomplished in like three months. Thanks, man. I appreciate you coming out. Always support me. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thanks, God. So what do you think of it now? Because now it's not stock. When you saw it was yellow last time. I say I love it. Yes, it looks amazing. I love the rev. I love the wheels. Like, uh, what about suspension? The same suspension as the GT3. Nice. Is it manual or? Yeah, manual. 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 Wow. Yeah. Wow. Sweet. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Last time you saw it and it was normal. It was like kind of boring. I tried to switch it up a little no, bit. It's get something really a little cool. better. <laughs> This is a pretty cool wrap on the GT4 RS. I thought this was a martini livery, but it's not. The CGT. This is Carrera Gray. But these are the old bucket seats. That's like a 997 style. Dude, I love the back of this car. The mesh it has. It just is a really, really, really unique look. I think the spider got inspiration off of this car. I like how the center console has like a sharpened kind. Look how high up the shifter is. It's like right next to this. We got the old. And then you got the new. 992 GT3 RS. You got the Wysak package on this. Magnesium wheels, ECCB brakes, all the active aero in the back, fins on the roof, the direct air, P1. I and mean, we've seen this P1 multiple times, but my younger brother wanted me to do a full overview of the car because he said the last time I saw this car, I didn't do an overview of it. My favorite part of the P1 is this active aero wing. This back just scoops in, just directs all the air down this channel, hits that air brake. A low to the ground. Well, I mean, he has a lift down, but still. I like this old design, the front of the McLarens. Thin design, kind of similar to what the 675 and the 570s have. The new models like the Turo kind of changed the design a little bit and I really prefer this design over the new one. Got Alex's Aventador SVJ, the infamous taxi that was in Shmi's video. 765 LT, SP1 Ferrari. This car is like so long, man. Like look how long the front of this car is. How do you drive something like that? The Daytona seats. Next to a Ford GT. Singer, this is Jason's new car. GT2 RS MR. Plates on the wheels to help direct air. Reduces drag on the wheels, I think. Look how low this car is, too. I can't wait to see the new GT2 RS. The 992 variant. Beautiful day in Central Florida. It's not super sunny. There's clouds, which is good because this place has no shade at all. There's no shade here at all. So if the sun was beaming, we'd be really screwed. It's a lot of cool vets. Alex is, this guy's out of control. Brought all four of his cars out. The Super Trofeo Evil 2. Look at this guy. The Ferrari. Race car. God damn it. This guy, man. That's how you ball, guys. Take out all four of your cars. My major problem is I go to these shows a lot of the times. I get distracted and I end up not making as much content as I should. Today, I'm going to actually try to make the content. This show has a lot of cars. I mean, look how many... 
People here, there's so much going on. I owe you guys good content, so I'm gonna try my best to make something that's worth watching. Even if there's no like viral moments in the video, which I don't think there will be, to be honest. I mean, there's a lot of old people here, so it's not Miami. There is a line. I don't see anyone I know. I'm tempted to continue making videos, but I'm too hungry for that, so I'm gonna have to wait in this line. Check this out. I've never seen something like this. This is insane. They have classic Jaguar with a electric conversion. And the interior on this is in beautiful too. Modernized. Got the LCD screen. Check this Lotus out. Full race car. The entire car is gutted. Got the roof scoop. Full on race car. I've never seen one of these before. I actually don't know what kind of Lotus this is. Ferrari F40. Look at the inside of this. Nice. This is carbon Kevlar. I actually really hate when they open up the doors and everything on the car. You got the man, the myth, the legend over here. Let's see if we can catch this guy off guard. What's up, Alex? All the cars out, man. All the cars. What do you think about the rims? I still need to go in first so that I see the video. Yeah. Looks good. Yep. Yeah. All right. I want to see. This is the YouTuber I'm trying to find. Doing donuts. Do donuts. Doing donuts. SF90. In my opinion, this is a good color combination. Look at this purple in the sun. I'm loving this, man. I think this is insanely sick. Just walking around, guys. Scott? Yeah. You are? Hey, I'm Supercar Caden. Right, nice What's you. up, man? Nice to meet you. Is your Porsche here? 675 LT. This is one of my favorite McLarens, just because I like the way this air brake in the back lifts up. This air brake, it lifts straight up, and it looks so freaking insane in person. Look at the whole back of this car is carbon fiber. Just one of my favorites. Between this and the P1, favorite cars. Then you got the Elba. Arturo. What are these going for right now? 297. Let's check this out. You got the speed tail. They got it open. Oh my goodness. Full carbon fiber monocoque. This is insane. Yo, check out the Diardo here. Race car here. SF90 leaving. The clamshell open. SF8 is mean. Hey, looking good, Jimmy. Great to see you. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Two. Another SF90. Lamborghini Huracan Storado. I am going to be honest. Brutally honest here, I do not. I am not a big fan of the front of the Dorado. I like the rest of it. I just don't like these two little lights in the front, man. I feel like it throws the balance of the car off. I like the little wide body they added to this. Carbon fiber seats, yellow stitching, the roof rack, air scoop on the top. I just don't like the front. In fact, if I got one of these, I would probably just get the stock bump. Can't because it's bolted on. Thank you, Scott. Have a good one, buddy. The rims yeah. look good. The wrap looks great. And I won. Okay, yeah, first yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's crazy rap. I love it. It's from HP Lovecraft. It's like the Yellow King. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he like wraps our hair to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that one looks really high quality. Yeah, so I just wanted to do something that stood out because, I mean, I felt like I'd go to shows and I see decent amount of GT4s. Yeah. Let me just do something that will stand out a little bit more, get a little bit of attention online. I like the stripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do that in my, uh, my other GT3. Yeah. I had a stripe like this and I was right around it and I loved it. And the spider, the spider logo on the back is really good. Oh, how do my wheels done? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love bronze gold wheels. I can't go wrong with them. Uh, for me, gold, but bronze looks amazing. Yeah. These crazy kids. Hey, 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 there's a speed limit here, guys. <laughs> what the fuck? These guys are out of control, man. Singer, this is beautiful spec, guys. Holy God. Dreams, goals here. So clean. You can't go wrong with Porsche, especially a classic like this. Mint, gold calibers, gold stripe down the middle. All oh, my exotics cars lined up. We brought out every single car in his garage. USOB. Every single car in his garage he brought out. 488 slammed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What would you want to take? The SVJ or the 765 LT? It's a hard choice. In my opinion, I prefer the SVJ. I feel like the SVJ has more aggressive body lines. I mean, like, look how flat it is. Super duper flat, low to the ground. All the aero, air just comes over this. It just flows over it. You got these giant air intakes. Or actually, you got them all over. You got them on the side, you got them up here. You got them in the back, you got them on top. Really like the SVJ wing and the back. The back of the SVJ and the wing, they do it for me. 765LT, yeah, sure. It's also pretty flat, but this one has the center seats in it. This look, look at the cushions. That's what I'm saying. I think that those cushions can be optioned out to different sizes because on Bronco's car, those cushions are super, super, super shallow. But on this car, they're very thick. They're like that thick. SVJ over the 765 any day. This has a better look. I'm surprised he still has the GT2 RS. 997, Super Trofeo Evo 2. I think that a lot of people look at this car and they think, oh, it's just another 
just another Huracan, but this is definitely a giant step up from the base Huracan. Even the STO. Look how much aero this car has on it. Go on race car. What I really like is it's not like super refined. Like he polished it and put the PPF on the carbon. But when you get this car, it's raw. It's raw. It doesn't have any of this fancy like shininess to it. It's just a very dull, plain race car. Really not even designed to go out to shows or be on the road. It's more of just an actual race car that's supposed to be ran on the track. Crash get repaired but i guess alex wanted to be a, make it a show car so he did he put an extra seat in it everything lm center this is the same lm center that's at mclaren of orlando look at the exhaust i'm pretty sure this is an american spec car five of these this one is street legal one of five obviously it does have the center seats obviously because it's a center you get the speed tail i personally would go with the center over the speed tail we're gonna head out i appreciate you guys if you watch this video to the end let me know what you think let me know if any car stood out to you i'll have some more content for you guys later this week if you're not subscribed subscribe because new videos are coming down the line they're gonna be even better hit that notification bell so you don't miss the future videos coming down saw a pretty good selection of cars i mean i'm kind of disappointed there were no 918s no paganis nothing like that but still pretty cool turnout you guys stay tuned because new videos are coming